Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be sharing with you um, a few of my favorite things. These are products that I enjoy using and I thought I would share with you. And um, I have some makeup, cosmetics, some skincare, some accessories, and then a lifestyle favorites. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is this NARS bronzer, and it is in the color Laguna, but it's not the normal Laguna bronzer that a lot of people talk about. This is in one of the newer formulations that they came out with back during the summer that is called a sun wash diffusing bronzer in the color Laguna. And it looks like this here, and I have been using this every single day as my bronzer and as my contour gosh, probably for at least a good three, four months. Every single day I've made a little bit of a dent in it. It's starting to hit pan, it looks like, possibly. But anyway, um, this is just a very natural, light, diffused type bronzer. Um, and the way that it's packed in here, um, it does take a little bit to get something onto your brush, which is a good thing because you don't want to get so much on your brush and then you go in and start to pin on your bronzer and your contour and you have too much. Then you have to spend a whole bunch of time blending and getting it diffused out where this just automatically goes on diffused. And the way I like to apply it is with this little MAC um, brush and unfortunately they don't carry or make this brush anymore. But the way, the reason why I like it is because it comes to this pointed tip here and I just swirl my brush in and then I just go to town all through here around my nose to kind of give a little bit of a sun-kissed look through here in my cheeks to kind of um, give my round cheeks a little bit of definition. I'm not going to get a whole lot because I do have a round face. But there's no shimmer, there's no shine. It's a little bit of a... Um, a soft matte, not a harsh matte at all. Uh, it's just, it's very flattering, especially if you have mature aging skin like I do. Um, you definitely want something that's natural. You want something that's light. You want something that is airbrushed and air kissed. No harsh lines. You definitely don't want any harsh lines and this will definitely give you that, um, not the heart lines. Um, and this color is for light to medium skin tones, according to the Sephora website. There is one that is a lighter color, but that one had a little bit too much um, yellow in it for my skin tone, so that's why I went with the Laguna, even though it said it was for light to medium when I have fair to light skin. But anyway, I have very much been enjoying using that and glad that I have that. The next product that I want to talk about is a skincare item, and it is a mask. This was a mask, I think it was in a set of masks that I bought during the Sephora, was it during the Sephora VIB sale? I think so. But anyway, it's the Dr. Jart, the Ceramided Dermacare Technology Skin Friendly Nano Skin Sheet Mask. Whew. That's a long... That is a long name, my friends. My goodness, could you get any longer than that? <clears throat> anyway, um, this will run you around $6 for one mask. So it is a little bit on the pricey side, but it's well worth it. And I normally don't get on here and recommend sheet masks that are on the, the higher end because I feel like you, there's so many... Um, one dollar two dollar three dollar mask that you can find that work just as well but this one this one was very very um moisturizing it had a really nice um, milky essence in it and ceramidin is very good for not only moisturizing the skin but acting as a humectant and locking in that moisture so that it doesn't evaporate off of your skin which is very important, especially this time of year when we're still running our heaters and the heat inside is just having havoc on our skin, um, drying it out. This was a really good mask. I wish I had more. I wanted to get more. Um, tick, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, it's not sticky. I have made my notes and 
It absorbs really good into the skin, was not sticky. The mask itself was a really good fit. It wasn't too big, it wasn't too um, small. The eye hose were good. Um, it wasn't drippy. It, it was a good mask. So if you are wanting to try a good mask and you're not really for sure what to get, I would get one of these and give it a try. The next product I want to talk about is a micellar water that I ordered off of, I don't remember, it was either Peach and Lily or Soko Glam. I don't remember, but anyway, I don't normally like a micellar water and I definitely don't use a micellar water to take off makeup. How I use a micellar water is of the morning with my powdered cleansers. And when I get up and go into my bathroom, the first thing I do is I will pour out a little bit of this into my hand and I'll rub it all over my face with my hand. And then I'll put my, um, oh, what is it? My um, powder cleanser into the palm of my hand and then put the micellar water in there to make it into um, a liquid form. And then I cleanse my face and then I rinse with tap water. I love this stuff and I don't say that very often about too many products, but I really like this. It doesn't um, sting my eyes for one. It's a very soft formula, so it really kind of helps to add some moisturization to my skin, which I'm like a broken record. I need, I need all the help I can get with getting moisture onto this dry, this dry desert skin here. Um, it's just very gentle, it's soft, it's non-irritating. Um, oh, and there's no oily residue at all. It just rinses clean. It doesn't leave any kind of film on the skin. Um, there's no fragrance in it. It has um, the rosemary leaf in it, um, sage leaf, ginger root, and botanical extracts that help to really exfoliate and just cleanse the skin. And I'm telling you guys, if you're not cleansing your skin, your face of the morning time, you are doing an injustice to your skin because I'm telling you, even though you've taken everything off at night and you go to bed with a clean face, when you're putting on all of your um, moisturizers and your exfoliants to help exfoliate your skin during the night, and plus our bodies will naturally shed skin that is on top of your skin when you wake up. I'm, I'm, I would challenge you of the morning to get up and take a cotton ball and take a toner and put it on your cotton ball and tone your face and look at it and see how much dirt <laughs> you get off your face. I mean, you, you just don't understand how much accumulates on your face during the night. Even though you're just in your bed, in your bedroom, it's nice and clean. You wouldn't think you're getting dirty, but you are. So make sure that you're cleansing your face in the morning time before you start your morning skincare prep and then putting your makeup on. Anyway. Okay. So now I'm going to talk about some um, non-beauty favorites. And what I want to talk about now is what I've been watching on Netflix. I really like um, hearing what other people are watching on Netflix because it gives me ideas on what to watch because I'm the type of person I like to binge watch a show. I'm like obsessed with it until it's over and then I'm like, oh, what am I going to do now? What am I going to watch now? So I like to have something, you know, already lined up, ready to go. So the first one I recommend is the show called How to Get Away with Murder. Um, this is a show, I guess it's on, is it on ABC? I think it's on ABC. I don't watch regular television, so I didn't even know that this show even existed. I just came across it on Netflix, watched the first three seasons that are available to watch, and was hooked. Um, it's like, um, it's more of a, it's like a drama mystery type show. Um, a group of lawyer kids, or kids are um, in law school, get into some trouble and then they start covering this up and then their professor gets involved and the more they start covering up, the more they have to cover up, the more lies they create, the more um, lies they have to create to cover that up. It's just, it's like a snowball effect. The more they do to try to get out of this causes more. Anyway, it's, it's really good. I enjoy the characters and it's a good storyline and I do recommend that. 
The next one that I just finished, and um, it's a Netflix original, I do believe, and it's called El Alias Grace, and it is about a house servant back in the, probably the 1800s, that has been accused of murdering another house servant. And it is a telling of, is showing how she is having to sit down every day and talk to a um, psychiatrist who's trying to figure out what happened because during the time of the murder, she doesn't remember anything. She has this huge um, blank spot, amnesia or whatever you want to call it. And he's trying to help to figure out, you know, what's going on, what really happened because she is um, being sentenced to be hung. And um, so they brought in him to talk to her to figure out what happened before she is hung. And it's very good. It's very good. I, I very much recommend it. Good storyline. Um, the character build is very good. Um, it starts out in the present and then it goes back and starts talking about her life growing up a little bit. How she got to um, the States and you know, how, how it all happened pretty much. And, um, it's very good. Recommend it. And then the third one that I recommend to you that I just started watching today and I've already finished the, um, the first episode of season one and I'm already completely hooked and it's a new one. It is a Netflix original and it's called Anne with an E. And it's about a little girl or a young girl that um, is in an orphanage and she is selected to go to a home and she gets to the home and they it's a man and his sister that run this farm they're elderly and they were expecting a boy and the orphanage sent them a girl mistakenly anyway it's you know building on this little this little girl's life you know what's happened to her and what she's doing to convince this elderly couple to keep her and not send her back very intriguing um the little girl her character went at first you're just like oh, i'm not gonna be able to get into this because she's a little annoying <laughs> but after probably like 20 minutes 25 minutes into it and the first episode, I think, is like is over an hour long. It's like an hour and a half. Um, you're you're just rooting for her, and you're just like, no, no, don't do that, don't do that. You know, be good, <laughs> so you get to stay. <laughs> anyway, um, very much enjoying that. So those three, I would definitely recommend. And then the last thing I have is some accessories, and I want to show you, and that is the Michael Kors. Um, pom-poms. I have several of these and I like to use them during the winter to decorate my handbags and the one that I've got on my handbag now well, you may not be able to tell but it is a navy blue and I just put it on it just really adds a little something something to your handbags. I like to put on <clears throat> my handbag a pom-pom or a bag charm that matches what I'm wearing for the day. So I have some um, blue striping in my sleeves of my shirt. So that's why I wanted to have the navy blue um, pom-pom on my handbag. They're nice and fluffy. They are a mix of faux fur and fox. So they do have a little bit of real hair in them. Um, I I wasn't paying any attention and my camera shut off. My battery died. So I was talking about the Michael Kors um, puffs. What did I do with the one I just had? I was talking about these guy, about how fluffy and soft they are, how very well made they are. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I'm almost done. Do it. Do it. 
talking about how well made they are, how fluffy they are, how soft they are. And they have a couple different sizes. Um, I think this is the smaller size. And then they have a bigger size that is like this one. And I know right now they have them um, on clearance on Macy's, at Macy's and on Macy's.com. And I do recommend these definitely to decorate your handbags. I have several um, that I've gotten. This was my first one. This one I actually purchased at the Michael Kors store a couple of years ago. So that's, and I have used it quite a bit. So you can see, you know, it holds up very well. Um, it hasn't shed, um, it hasn't gotten bald anywhere. It's just really, it's just so cute. And of course my little granddaughter, she just loves these. She just pets them the whole time. I got her one the other day at Claire's. See, they just, when they shake like that, they just kind of really fluff up. And I think that's all the ones I have from Michael Kors. But yes, yeah, so that my friends is all of my favorites. I hope that you have enjoyed and will be so inclined to give me a thumbs up. Also to um, subscribe, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Also on the um, bell notification so that you're notified of all future videos and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.